It was in late 1991 when Philips partnered with Sony and released a new interactive disc format known as CDI. At the time, it was described as a new way to interact with television sets with text, audio, and graphics. The initial price of the CDI console was a staggering $1,000, or the equivalent of $1,900 in 2020. At the beginning, the CDI was marketed to consumers as a home entertainment system. However, due to its poor sales, Philips decided to rebrand the CDI as a gaming platform, which unquestionably helped its sales. Nonetheless, due to its high price, the CDI console never really took off and was eventually abandoned by Philips in 1996. Among the top games for the CDI, you will find Brain Dead 13, Pack Panic, Hotel Mario, Burnt Cycle, Mutant Rampage Body Slam, Arcade Classic by Nameco, and Secret Mission. Due to popular requests, today we are going to explore the CDI console as well as teaching you how to set it all up in Batucera. Are you ready? Let's do it! Greetings everyone and welcome to Batista Nation. So delighted that you could join us today. Today we're going to focus on emulation, specifically Philips CDI, one of the new additions included in Bato Serra 33. So let's go to our favorite website, Bato Serra wiki page, and, and you can find some very basic information from the Philips CDI. But the main thing here to highlight is this. These are the accepted formats for the actual games you want to download, right there, okay? And this, of course, goes with the bed files as well. So again, any games in these formats will work, and I've tried several of them, they all seem to work. Now, not all the games you find in download are going to work uh, 100%. In fact, I would say about 90% of the games I tested and downloaded worked. About 10% did not work, it would freeze up, it would simply not load up. So, bear that in mind. Now, if you go into Internet Archive, and you type Philips CDI, you can find a number of information about the system itself. Uh, I'm not going to share with you the actual games themselves, but you will find and get all kinds of useful information, including uh, manuals for the different games out there. Uh, you also will find homebrew as well. And I've got these right here, and this one as well. Okay, so you can find homebrew as well. Again, I'm not gonna share with you where to find the games themselves, but if you look around, you should be able to find it. Now, the second thing you also will need, absolutely essential, is the Bata Set of 33 BIOS files. Without these files, the Philips CDI will not work at all. So make sure you download this before you do anything else. Okay? Once you downloaded the files, and I've got here my test files here. Again, I got different formats. Bear in mind that if you got uh, any ISO files or any bin files, you can compress them by using Chatman. In fact, when I compress this one, it went down from 595 megabytes to 109 megabytes. Quite a huge decrease in size. So make sure you compress them using Chatman. That will save you quite a bit of space. Uh, in fact, I've got a tutorial on how to do that. And here's the actual tutorial itself. I will be providing a link in my video description. All right, so let's go ahead and load up to center. I'm going to show you where to copy all these files. Alright, so we're about to set up. Let's go ahead and press F1. And let's go to our game folder. And the main thing you have to consider is this. You don't copy your games into your main folder. Okay, you've got to copy it to your CDI folder. This folder was created with about to set 33. Here's you copy everything, okay? You can see here that I mostly got chat file formats, okay? It's most of my games. And I also got them all scraped as well. Alright, let's go ahead Go to file, close it, and from there, press start in game pad, go into game settings, update games list. Right now, it should be there. Let's see here. There it is. Okay. I've got about 42 games. Let's check it out. All right, so there we are. These are all my games. 
get them all scraped. Let's go ahead and press select on your gamepad. Let's go to advanced system options. And this will control the settings for all the games within this collection. Of course, you can also go individually if you want to. So let me show you with you the settings I use for this collection. Video mode, I chose auto. Decorations, I did try different settings, but none of them seemed to work. Uh, so there's no bezels for this game collection. Video mode, I chose that one, BGFX. And then for the graphics API, I chose Vulkan. And then for the video filter, I chose this one. Of course, you can also choose other ones as well. I did try these bottom ones here, 2X, 3X, and 4X, and did not look good at all. Uh, these other ones give you a nice, good retro look. But among all of these, I kind of like this one the best. It gives me a nice, sharp, clear image. And everything else, I left it as auto. You also have the option of create pad to key profile, but I had no use for it at all. It was not necessary. And again, everything is pretty much straightforward with this game collection. All right, let's go ahead and try out our first one right here, Arcade Classics. All right, so in all the games, this is the intro screen you will see. Okay, you can move this with your left analog stick. You don't have to worry about none of these things in the bottom. All you got to worry about is this one right here. And from there, go ahead and press the A button or your B button, depending upon your gamepad. And that will load it up. Once again, you use your left analog stick to choose what you want to choose. In this case, go ahead and go with Galaxy. And for the gamepad, uh, usually it's A, B, C buttons. Okay, so your gamepad can be A, B, and the X buttons. Those are the ones that will work. All right, let me go ahead and give you a demonstration, not only of this game, but some of the other games you will find in the Philips CDI collection. Okay, I'll give you a sample, and I won't be doing much talking at all. All right?
be no more viewing tonight. Shermak, bearer of sad news these many years ago. And so it was that Ganon, Lord of Darkness, had taken over Tolemak. He had stolen the treasured celestial signs and captured Link. A brave warrior would have to be found to face this evil monster. So I found this champion of strength and courage. It is you, Princess Zelda. With this magic pendant, go forth, and with each sign you gather, so too will you gain knowledge. Find your magic wand, use it wisely, and listen to your allies along the way. Go now, my princess. Restore the celestial signs and rescue Link.
Alright, so that should give you a great brief overview of what the Philips CDI console is all about. In fact, in many ways, it reminds me of the Daphne console. So if you like Daphne, then I think you absolutely will love the Philips CDI console. Well, that's a wrap. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with YouTube's algorithms. If this is your first time watching a video from Batista Nation, then I highly encourage you to check out our YouTube channel, as well as our website at BatistaNation.com. That will give you a great overview of what Batista is all about, and whether this is something that will meet your emulating needs. Finally, I want you to know that I've got a lot more videos coming up, so therefore please consider subscribing so that you'll stay on top of the latest and greatest from Batista Nation. As a matter of fact, the next videos that we'll be covering will include Xbox emulation and how to set up discrete graphic cards. In fact, I was finally able to duplicate some of the problems that the video graphic cards users were having, and I believe that I might have a solution for those of you who were struggling with your NVIDIA graphics cards. So, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time about the Nation. Bye.